Hello, hi, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Uh, welcome to another episode of Bedhead with me, Maximilian Robert Lockwood. January 16th this is the 16th episode of Bedhead. Uh, and today's MLK Day. MLK, a leader in, in uh, civil rights, in uh, trying to raise awareness of uh, the injustices when it comes to equality. So, so let's talk to injustice when it, uh, injustices when it comes to equality, wealth inequality, shall we? Economics, division of wealth, uh, Oxfam, researchers at Oxfam just uh, published a report stating that in the past two years, uh, since 2020, the ultra rich, the ultra rich, the one percent, have accrued two thirds of all new wealth in the world. $42 trillion of new wealth has been created, and the ultra-rich, the 1%, accrued $26 trillion of it, two-thirds. Apparently, the ultra-rich earned, for every $1 that the regular person earned, the ultra-rich garnered $1.7 million. Since 2020. And apparently that's speeding up. It used to be that they would only garner about 50% of wealth for every, uh, 50% of all new wealth uh, just for the 1%. By the way, this is just for the 1%. So they're saying that all the other 50% of wealth would have gone to the entirety of the other 99%. And now it's only one third of wealth goes to the other 99%. The 1% sequester two thirds of it, $26 trillion. You guys, we can't, <laughs> we can't go on like this. <laughs> we, uh, I mean, just think about the prototype of ad abject poverty that just comes to mind, all right? Probably somewhere in, in uh, Africa, Southeast Asia, perhaps even here in the States. I mean, I can think of a couple of examples of what abject poverty would look like to me here in the States, uh, in North America, maybe even in your home state. It does. I, I can literally walk down my street uh, I'm basically at the corner of, uh, of four different streets. If I walk in any direction, I will hit a homeless person probably in about like less than 15 minutes. And homeless people here have have decent means of getting food. Uh, there are programs set up for for shelters. Um, they can pr they'll probably have a roof over their heads. They'll probably have some kind of um, you know, warm meal and or access to clean water and everything. That's not the case for abject poverty around the world. Damn sure that's not the case. And yet, they're walking away, the 1% is walking away with two-thirds of all new wealth, $26 trillion over two years. Fuck them all to death. Anytime that anybody tells me that that's too strong a sentiment, absolutely fucking not. Fuck them all to death. It's disgusting. Have as great a day as you can. Be virtuous. Live with integrity and morals and let them guide you. Because they sure as shit ain't guiding the 1%. Be better than them. Take it easy. Have a good day.